Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Needless to say, the importance of EUV lithography machines. TSMC has always been ahead of Samsung in wafer foundry by virtue of being the first to introduce EUV and having more EUV. For this reason, Samsung wants to achieve a lead and start striving to obtain more EUV. Nowadays, chip manufacturing processes are developing towards 2 nanometers and more advanced processes. Lithography machine giant ASML has also launched the next generation of EUV lithography machines and also revealed the commercialization time of more advanced EUV. However, foreign media said that an embarrassing situation has arisen. Recently, well-known expert Seong Ligang expressed his unique opinion. He believed that TSMC must use ASML's expensive EUV lithography machines for processes below 7 nanometers, is a shocking scam, a barrier created by TSMC in order to monopolize the market. What's more interesting is that the United States has also been deceived, thinking that as long as it blocks EUV, it can block China's development of advanced manufacturing processes. Therefore, the United States has been keeping a close eye on restrictions on lithography machines. It previously restricted high-end EUV shipments to the mainland, and last year it severely restricted immersion DUV. However, high-end lithography machines are indeed restricted, but they have not blocked the development of Chinese chips. The return of Huawei's self-developed Kirin chip last year is a strong proof. Many tests agreed that it has reached the 7 nanometers level. Not to mention this, foreign media, Financial Times, recently reported that mainland China is about to mass-produce 5 nanometers chips, which may not be groundless. From this, Xiong Ligang believes that 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, 3 nanometers, etc. are actually virtual standards. Of course, there is some truth to what expert Xiong said, because after entering 10 nanometers, the so-called several nm is no longer the actual width, but obtained through calculation. Therefore, even TSMC expert Lin Benjin also said that DUV lithography machines can now achieve 7 nanometers, or even 5 nanometers. Of course, it is undeniable that manufacturing technology has indeed improved, but the degree of progress is not as great as indicated. TSMC's operation in this way has really screwed Intel up a lot, and now Intel has begun not to mark the width according to the actual width. The key is that TSMC's actions have brought many benefits to ASML, allowing EUV lithography machines to open up the market. Today, EUV lithography machines have become an important revenue support for ASML's revenue. Therefore, TSMC has the right of first refusal for EUV lithography machines and has obtained the largest number of EUV lithography machines. This makes Samsung need to grab more if they want more. Under this circumstance, ASML has also gone a step further and launched a next-generation EUV lithography machine for more cutting-edge processes below 2 nanometers, namely high NA EUV. The original EUV resolution was really 13.5 nanometers, but now it has been increased to 8 nanometers. However, this time TSMC lost the right of first refusal and ASML has now sent the first unit to the US company Intel. On the one hand, 
This is because Intel is a U.S. company and the initiator of the EU v R&D alliance. On the other hand, TSMC is no longer actively fighting for it because the next generation of EUV is more expensive. The key is to understand that the actual value is not that high. After Intel restarted Chip Foundry, it formulated a four years and five generations technology catch-up plan, hoping to compete with TSMC and Samsung in Foundry. To this end, Intel has actively secured the right of first refusal for high NAEUV. In this case, Intel can achieve the 2 nanometers process one year ahead of TSMC. But TSMC doesn't seem to care. Just like before, Samsung achieved 3 nanometers mass production half a year ahead. Later, TSMC's 3 nanometers manufacturing technology was still ahead of Samsung. Therefore, even if Intel takes the lead in obtaining advanced EUV, it may not be able to truly surpass TSMC in technology. It can be seen that high NAEUV is no longer as popular as EUV before. Perhaps as Xiong Ligang said at the beginning, the 2 nanometers process can also be realized using existing EUV lithography machines, so TSMC is so calm. Under this circumstance, ASML has announced the progress of more advanced hypo-NA EUV technology, which is the next generation of high NA EUV. It is expected to be commercialized around 2030, providing assistance for more cutting-edge chip manufacturing in the future. Previously, the chief technology officer of ASML has mentioned that the cost is too high and hypo-NA EUV is not economically feasible. Because there are not many high NA EUV users anymore, and now only TSMC, Samsung, and Intel are left, the cost of hyper NA EUV lithography machines continues to double, with one machine exceeding 760 million US dollars. I am afraid that the giants will also be unable to bear it. In this regard, some foreign media directly stated, ASML is in an embarrassing situation. Not only is EUV lithography machine technology coming to an end, but it may also face a situation where it cannot be sold in the future, so other lithography machine technologies will be launched one after another.